Okay, so our next topic is downloading files from the web with the request module. So let's start with this. What is request module? Through request module, you can download the files from with without having worrying about complicated issues such as network errors, connection problems and data compressions. So you can see that with the help of request module, which is available to us in Python, you can just import this request module and then you can download so many things from the internet without having to worry about any network connections or anything like that. The request module doesn't come with Python. So you have to install it first. So as you already know how to install it, we say pip install request. This is how you install any packages in Python. And this has already been covered in your appendix A. So you know already by now that how to do it. Moving on, this I'm not going to read because uh, this is about the older library URL lib2, which is now not being used anymore. So there's no point of you guys getting confused about this library. So just remember about request module. Next, to do the simple tech test, make sure the request module is installed itself correctly. So the to check if the request module is running fine or not, you use this command import request. And if you don't see any errors, then the request module is successfully installed. So let me first show you that here, where as soon as I say request import request. Now there is no error coming. There's no red line coming up in this request keyword. So that means this library is properly installed. This module is properly installed. So we don't have to worry about it. Next, how you can download a web page with the request.get function. So you can download a web page with using request.get. How you can do that? The request.get function takes a string of a URL to download by calling the type on the request.get return value. You can see that it returns the response object, which contains the response that the web server gave you for the request. So that means if I say request, I've already written the code for you, which is given right here. So I'm just going to directly show you the code instead of just wasting time. Here I said import request. And as soon as I say request.get, this is the command which we are talking about in this module right now. As soon as I say request.get, whatever I'm going to pass inside this as a parameter, that is going to be detected as a website, right? So we just pass the website inside the parameters of this request.get function. And I have said that this request.get command is written inside a variable called res. Now I have printed the type of the res. Now this is going to give out the object of the response of the web server. So as it is told in the PDF that it says that it returns that it returns the re response object, which contains the response that the web server gave you to request. Okay. So now I hope you have understood till here. So we got the request. We got the uh, web page into this and then we printed that. So it printed, it prints the object as the request from the website. Now after that, what this line is doing, res dot status code equals to request code. So let's check about this. The URL goes to the text web page for the entire play of Ruby Juliet provided by the project Gutenberg. When you can tell that the request of this web page succeeded by checking the status code attribute of the response object. If it is equals to the value of code dot request.code.ok, dot dot then everything went fine. So initially the status code of OK in HTTP code, you may already same frame. Same. So if we run this code. Let us see what this line is doing. We can see that it prints the whole thing and see it prints the request. So what this line is doing, this type dot res, it is printing the response that was given by the website as an object. Then it says this. So when I say this, I'm using a comparison operator in Python. And when I do this, it says true. That means everything went fine as it is given in the PDF. So if that is equals, then everything went fine. You can see this. Now, moving on to the next one, we are checking the length of the whole text, which was present inside that website. So this is where this is the length. Then what did I do in the next thing? We used Python slicing. And when we do, when we did Python slicing, it printed the whole thing. So this is the indexing where I have printed 
res.txt means the, the web page which was there in the res, it's text and inside that from 0th index to 2500 index. So till 2500 num uh, variables like the letters, it will print the whole Romeo Juliet novel. So there you go. You can see the whole Romeo Juliet novel got printed. Not the whole, but till 2500. See? Till 2500. Now, what is this line? There was a problem. See, later on, I have written <clears throat> this. We have used an exception that if there is any status, like, see what happens. I said res equals to request dot get. If the page doesn't get any thing or anything which gives you an error, at that time it will catch that exception. And at that time, it will try for this type of exception. If this type of exception comes, then it will print there was a problem. But here, let's talk about what that line is doing. Incidentally, the status code for OK in HTTP protocol is 200. You may already familiar with the 404 status code for not found. So anything that is doesn't found, that will print this thing. But here, what this is doing, we are trying to catch the exception when there is no page that exists, the page that doesn't exist. And it will print this exception. So that's it, guys, uh, for this request module. Now, next thing that we are going to do is the checking error part. So checking error part is already done now. <clears throat> now, the next thing that we are going to learn is saving downloaded files to the hard drive. And to do that, we have another program which I've already written for you. And this is it. So right now in the current working directory, wherever this program is stored, there the text file will get downloaded where the whole Romeo Juliet file will be kept that we were reading right now in the previous one. Okay. So now saving the downloaded files to the hardware, hard drive, how to do this in your physical computer. So from here, you can save the web page to the file on your hard drive with the standard open function and write method. So what we can do is we have open function, we have used open function. And if you remember reading and handling files in Module 3, we have opened the text document file and there we have used the write command and where we have written the whole thing. So in the previous program, it was copying the content from the web page and then through this, we can just write the whole thing inside a text file and then we can save it there in the current working directory. How to do that? To do it. There are some slight differences though. First, you must open the file in write binary mode by passing the string wb as the second argument to open. So instead of just writing w as a command or the permission to write, we will use write binary as the second argument to open. Even if the page is a plain text such as normal text file you downloaded earlier, you need to write a binary data instead of text document to in order to maintain the Unicode encoding of the text, which is very important guys, but you don't have to worry about much in any, in any case, because here Unicode will support almost every kind of text. So that is why we use this. So here it is told about Unicode encoding and Unicode encoding ends are beyond the scope of this book, but you can learn about them. So you don't have to worry about it. Well, just know that Unicode through Unicode, you can, your whole text will be supported anyway. So that's it. You don't have to worry about anything in this case. Now to write the web page to the file, you can use a for loop to respond uh, or with the response object iter content method. So how we can do that? I'll directly explain, explain you the whole thing with the help of a program and it will be very simple. So the program says we imported the request module and then we said res equals to request.get and we have got the website where are pages present then i said race for the status so with this i'll get the race for the status and then see what this is doing i'll tell you about this where is it so we first created the request.get to download the file what we have done here is we have get the got the file from this command and then call open function with wb to create a new binary mode. So see, we have said open and then romeojula.txt. This is going to create a file into my current working directory 
with the right binary mode where right binary will be the permission and this is going to open up a text document file and then it, that file will be saved here now we said a for loop for chunk in res iter content and we passed this much value so till these many words the whole thing will be iterated and then one by one the chunk will be taken from the website and then it will be pasted on the romagilla.txt so i'll say print play file print i said play file where the rtxt file was stored dot write the chunk whichever got copied from the web page one by one from the iteration these many number of times so whatever will be written in all these iterations everything will be copied one by one all the iterations will happen and one by one the chunks will be added to that dot txt file and this is how the whole text file will be created and then at last the file will be closed if i run this code in simple words i have explained you this if i run this code see so first it printed the number of iterations so it, this was the iteration like these many times it got iterated and this is the length of the code this is the length of the whole text document file if you go on to your current working directory see Romeo Juliet has been present. So if I double click, you see that this book got created just now. See the whole Romeo Juliet got written up in our current working directory. If you want to see this, you can go to your current working directory and you can see that with the for loop, one by one, the chunks of was taken, chunks were taken, and then those chunks got printed one by one like that. So this is how it is done through this program in saving the downloaded files into your hard drive i hope you are getting my point what i am saying in the program guys if you have any doubts you can ask us in the comment section all right so let me just show you quickly about this again so i'll open this into the explorer you can see that this is the current working directory where all our files are present and this is where the romeo and juliet.txt file got created with the open command and write binary to maintain the unicode so that this code is supported by any kind of text editor we don't have to worry about anything and how it got printed one by one chunks was taken in the for loop and with that iter we were able to iterate all the chunks one by one from the website to this txt file i hope you have understood this well guys that's it for this topic and i'll see you in the next topic very soon